Greetings, friends, and welcome to our Wednesday midweek service of praise and prayer. Today is Wednesday, March 3rd, 2021. My name is Mary Kelly, and I'm here with my good friends Andrew Van Verick and Soyon Park, and we're broadcasting from the sanctuary of the Central Park United Methodist Church in the city of Buffalo. Our opening words this morning are from Ephesians chapter 4, verses 1 through 6. I, therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beg you to lead a life worthy of the calling to which you have been called, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, making every effort to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit, just as you were called to the one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and in all. Will you join your hearts with mine as we hear these words of prayer? Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn, and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your saving help, sustain us with your bountiful spirit and open our lips to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind as we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O oh God, set our hearts on fire for love for you, now and forever. Amen. <laughs> chapter 9, verses 2 through 8. And just then, 
some people were carrying a paralyzed man lying on a bed. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Take heart, son, your sins are forgiven. Then some of the scribes said to themselves, This man is blaspheming. But Jesus, perceiving their thoughts, said, Why do you think evil in your hearts? For which is easier, to say your sins are forgiven, or to say, Stand up and walk, but so that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. He then said to the paralytic, Stand up, take your bed, and go to your home. And he stood up and went to his home. When the crowds saw it, they were filled with awe and they glorified God, who had given such authority to human beings. Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. And now let us lift up our voices in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all now and forever. 